Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the on object interaction in Power BI. These new features allow you to right click on a visual to access the formatting pen. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So this feature is preview feature. First, we will enable this feature. To do this, I will go to the file option and setting. In option and setting, I will click option. And here I will select preview features. And in preview feature here you can see on object interaction. So you have to click first here, enable it and click OK and restart the Power BI desktop. So on my Power BI desktop, it is already enabled. So I will click cancel and I will go back to report page. Now let me add a data card here. And let me resize the data card. And here you can see two options. If you select the visual, two options. So let me select first one. And first I will add a data. So if you click add data, you will see your table here. And from my table, I will select sum of order quantity. So you can see sum of order quantity. Now let me select this visual and let me change the visual type from here only. So I will select a column chart. So now it is column chart. So column chart need X axis as well. So I will click on X axis, add data, and I will select fill region. So you can see order quantity by region. Now let me select a second options and we'll see here you can see title, X axis, Y axis, zoom slider. You can add zoom slider. You can add a data level. So I am adding the data level so you can see the data level is added. More option will give you a more option on your right hand side. Now, if you want to change your title, you have to just double click on the title. And this was not possible earlier. And let me say total order quantity. So now you can see total order quantity by region. Similarly, you can also change the access level. You just double click on the access level and I will say here. Only order quantity. So my column chart is ready now. Let me add a line chart here to show you more. So my line chart is added, so X axis I will add sales date. And on Y axis I will add sum of order quantity. So here you can see my line chart. So here I will go to the option. Let me deselect. Second option and here you can see title X axis, Y axis, secondary axis. You can add zoom slider. You can add a marker. You can add a data level. You can add a series level. You can add a trend line. You can add a forecast. You can also add a fine anomalies. More option will give you more option on your right hand side. That's all for this video. I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.